What up, Fish Tank people? FishTankTV.com, DustinsFishTanks.com, bringing it to you on a Sunday. How is everybody doing today? Hope you had an awesome week. I know I did. Wrapped up February with a real good style. Did the Free Iron Friday. A lot of people were loving that. Uh, I'm excited about that. Great feedback. A lot of good orders. Really appreciate yours. Go figure. I do a sale on something where I throw in something that's a liquid for free when the temperature is about to go to completely freezing. Uh, so we're going to have fun with that. I'm going to be shipping stuff out this week. If the snow or not, we'll get it to you. Unless you're in some crazy place where you're getting ridiculous amounts of snow. Then we're not going to ship your plants. But we'll call you and we'll talk about all that good stuff. So... What's going on? Let's see here. It's Sunday. I got a great species for you. I got a couple of other tanks to show you besides this bad boy, too. Um, but yeah, we got to talk about the Newport Aquarium happening on March 15th, okay? Newport Aquarium, March 15th. So excited about it. I could, like, barely speak. Um, I'll just I'll take a step back for a second. If you were to ask Dustin at the age of 12, what you would what 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 would you want to do for your the rest of your life? What would you want to do with the rest of your life? Uh, I would tell you I'm doing that now. I didn't know I'd be doing videos for this, but like playing with aquariums and my own stuff and fertilizers in my tanks and all that. Like that yeah that that's I, I actually remember having that thought at like a young age. So thank you everybody here um, for you know watching this, enjoying it, letting me do crazy stuff on camera. I'm having a riot. So with the riot in my mind and my brain like. The craziness that's about to happen, I want to talk about the Newport Aquarium and just a quick conversation I had with the guy. This is how sweet this is going to be, all right? So, shocker, the guy, Jeff, who is going to be on camera hopefully tomorrow. I'm going up there tomorrow, um, weather permitting. On the phone with him, he was like, yo, so so what do you what do you need? Da, da, da. I'm like, what do I need? You know, what I'm thinking, you know, moving an aquarium sucks, right? I mean, y'all have done it. It sucks. Moving this thing sucks. Moving an aquarium sucks. I'm like, well, you know, I want a couple four footers. He's like, I got two 65 talls. He's like, I got a couple 40 gallons. I got this six by six, six foot by six foot, like square tank that we're, we've been itching to set up and all that. He's like, how much water do you need? I'm like, I don't know, 300 gallons. I got a 500 gallon tub. We can bring up the elevator. You'll have it right there. I'm like, holy cow. So just like the scope of the resources that I have available working with an aquarium to do crazy stuff is just super super exciting for me to like them be like yeah we got this we got that no look i'm not promising i'm decking out a six by six tank that's on them they brought it up i'm gonna try to push it on them and see what we can do but that's gonna be hard to aquascape y'all that's a big old tank to get rolling quick so i gotta work my time details on the event let's see here uh 11 to uh, i'm gonna be there like four hours from basically 11 to whatever and then setting up and tearing down so i mean just calm folks just calm i'm gonna be there the whole time so it, it's whatever but i got the room officially from uh, 11 to 3. If you want to buy tickets, call 859-815-1423. I'm going to say that number again. 859-815-1423. The promo code is Fish Tank. Now, there's going to be a link online where you can do that yourself. And let's say you can't make this event, you can still get discounted tickets like a ways from now. So like you can use the promo code Fish Tan, not Fish Tank, Fish Tan because they only allow seven characters. Uh, but that'll get you discount on tickets moving forward. So if you're watching this in 2032, you can still get that discount from me because I love you because I'm trying to share it and get you up there to the Newport Aquarium. So that's exciting. I talked about Free Iron Friday. That was a blast. People blast me with that. I've also got some premium content rolling that I'm really excited about. I got Silverfish and I got Goldfish. I've had a lot of people sign up for it. Look, you get some exclusive stuff. I'm still going to keep doing the YouTube channel like I have been. 835 videos. That's all free. That's all going to stay there forever. I do have some premium stuff that people want to work with me more closely, get more attention, talk on the phone, look at your tanks, there's all, you know, figure out the problems. There's only so many freaking emails I can answer today. Yo, so many people are relentless. I get like one a day, everybody, boom, 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 boom. So this separates it out. You know, I got the silverfish, they get taken care of. I got the goldfish. Having some technical things, connecting some stuff. You do get 10% off plants, up to 25% off. Uh, connecting the systems with my new CRM, boom, goldfish, boom, silverfish, boom, platinum content, right to your face. So I'm real jacked about that. Check it out. If it's not for you, it's not for you. That's fine. Makes no difference. Keep watching the videos. We'll keep rolling. So wanted to share that though because I think it's badass, okay? And by the way, I'm driving to Newport tomorrow. So if you sign up and you say, yo, let's talk tomorrow morning, which I know Monday mornings are tough for people because they're working. But I will call you up. Yo, what's up? By the way, the Newport Heights your tank doing. It'll be great. I love doing that. It's so much fun. So that's the kind of value I'm trying to bring you. Speaking of value, it's Species Sunday. Man, this is going to be a sick video because I got a sick Species for you and some more tanks. 
Get your molly on, folks. I want to talk today about mollies. I'm still not going to edit it and put it in the video. I'm just going to do it like this. If you can't see this picture, something's wrong with you. It's a molly, okay? Molly. I haven't kept mollies in forever, so I want your help on mollies. Uh, I know they like... Uh, well, they're from Mexico area and like you know that that part of the, the area of Central America or what have you. Um, this is actually a sail fin black molly. This is a male with a straight anal fin. The females have like a fan down. Um, Molly's easy to breed, live bearers. Um, they like a little bit of salt. The recommendations they say are one teaspoon of salt per five gallons to start. Um, I know people that have kept them in straight up like reef type setups, but. I haven't ever actually done that, but I do know they like a little salt, can handle a little brackish. Um, the male to female ratios, y'all, the men are horny bastards. Um, there's one male, they say, to three or four females, because they just relentlessly chase them around like drunk 18-year-old boys in a bar, just chasing the females around. So get them a lot of females. They eat their young. My boy Brock Perkins back in the day, uh, he had some mollies, and it pissed, it pissed me off, by the way, because when I was growing up, a couple of my friends always would get fish. And their fish would breed instantly. And I had like five tanks. And then like my boy would set up a molly tank and boom, eat that babies. Or my boy Rue would set up a cichlid, convict cichlid tank and boom, eat that babies. Like, what? You know, I'm, I'm a fish dude here. Anyway, um, they do tend to eat their young. I would say get the parents the heck out of Dodge. I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of Java moss for these suckers. Like Java moss, baby, well, I don't know. Floating, floating plants are probably better for that. But get the parents out. Um, they come in a lot of sick, sweet varieties, silver, balloon, liar tail, sail fins, orange ones, those balloon ones are kind of freaky looking to me, but I'd love to know the kind of species you've got. I know my man Chris, who actually won the Dirty Tank Contest, he was keeping some sail fin mollies. Um, I've actually, yeah, a lot of them have. So, I, you know, it's one of those things, I'd like to go to one of those library conventions. If anyone's ever been to one of those, let me know, drop me a note in here. Um, to check them out, because yeah, they seem pretty cool, but I want to know what you know about mollies, because... I think they're pretty dope. Um, spe beginner species, haven't talked about, surprise I haven't, but I haven't kept them. I like to talk about the species that I have kept. Uh, but yeah, tell me what you know about mollies. Let me show you some fun stuff I got going on. Folks, are you ready for some extra stuff, some more stuff, some more love from D on this beautiful Sunday? Coming at ya! Alright, got this. We're rolling here with the 220. We got a little something going on over here. <sighs> It's my little secret, okay? So look, this is a tank that I basically just super duper pound with fertilizers and CO2. Yes, now look, it's outside of the scope of video, but I actually had this sitting around. I had a six way, six gangway uh, thing, CO2 regulator with uh, solenoid or whatever on it. So i um, real pumped about that. Had that just sitting around, I found it. So hook that sucker up. I'm smoking the CO2 on this thing. I mean, I am crushing on the CO2. Um, I'm actually running the lights uh, over this half down so the light can get down deeper because if it's full of water, the light won't penetrate the water as deeply. And yo, and people have asked me all the time about this, so I'm just going to say it. Um, I'm not going to drop the name of the brand that did this, but I got two strips on here. I got one strip of three strip LEDs, and then I got the, the in the front, I got the two standard uh, just regular old T8s. Look, all right, these are the, these are the T8s. When I turn the T8s off, there's the LED lighting, okay? Now look, if I turn the T8s back on and I turn the LEDs off, that's what it looks like. Now I like the look of that more than I do the look of this. That's my opinion. Now I don't know how the plants react to it, so I'm just giving my two second opinion on it. I know people are all about LEDs, and if you've got a brand and everything you like, you know, go for it. I know some some people, you know, I mean, Tom Barr's using them, Karen, and the whole, like the, the big people are using them, but. I'm not just convinced for this particular thing that I've seen. So anyway, I wanted to show this tank. It gets crushed with fertilizers. Uh, I've got the purple plants I'm saving for my people, my ginger, and some other people that are coming to Cincinnati who have already signed up. Sally, looking forward to meeting you. But I got more. Oh, I got Cryptosteriana. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful plant. I got this. Loving it. Just sick, sick plants. And then I got something y'all on the Facebook's fan page. Dustin's Fish Takes on Facebook. You can check this out right here. How about a little flame moss and a little 10 gallon? I can't get the camera too low because I'm holding it with a tripod, but uh, I'll go over it. I got a bunch of cherry shrimp in there. I'm trying to see if the cherry shrimp will eat a little cyno that I got on that uh, baby tears right there, but I'm growing shrimp. I'm gonna be selling them on Dustin's fish tanks after a bit. You can see one of them down there. But uh, I got them here with some flame moss. Flame moss is not for sale. And uh, yeah, I'm having some fun with that. But you know what? 
It's Sunday. It's Species Sunday. I gotta tell you. <sighs> got to tell you. Got to tell you. I'm gonna take you outside because I got more. All right, I got more. Are you ready? Here we go. The 125 right here, rolling. Um, Peru fish, checkerboard, sick, whatever. Peru angel, loaches, um, diamond tetras. I'm thinking I'm getting rid of the diamond tetras. So there's my festival as well, staring at my face. Where's my big quarry cat? There's an apisto. There's an apisto. But as we roll out here to this beautiful, beautiful, look at this beautiful day we're having, folks. Wow, it's great. Freezing rain coming at you. Here we go, out in the rain, holding the tripod, running to the greenhouse because Brian and I were out here yesterday all crazy, all insane. Look at that mud, it sucks. But look in here. Oh, Dustin's little zen paradise. Hello. I'm on a mission that niggas say is impossible. Because when I swing my swords, they all choppable. I be the body rocker, the heartbeat stopper. Little jizzer for you if you're Wu-Tang fans. Gotta show the greenhouse. Brian cleaned it up. Wisteria, Anubias. Got some Madagascaensis with the lace plant in your face. We got some Laguigia. We got the Crip Wisteriana on sale on Dustin's Fish Tanks. Brian cleaned his bad boy up. Shot back the whole thing. I got a leak in the roof, but that's fine. Um, and I'm rolling, I'm rolling, I'm rolling. I got big swords, liquid swords, if you will. Little Jizza Genius. Got a bunch of babies over there. And I'm only showing you three of the tanks because the other ones are funk looking. They got all kinds of algae, sino. But anyway, that's what I'm doing. I'm fired up, I'm caffeinated. My kids aren't around. I get to come out of my greenhouse and frolic. Come out of my greenhouse and frolic. Uh, even on a rainy day, so I'm real excited about that. I hope you're excited. I hope you and your tanks are having a great time. Come see me March 15th, folks. I'm, can't, I'm a hug. I'm a hug. I'm a love ya. Some of you already signed up. I'm really excited. So that's what I'm doing. Make it a great week and tank on. Later.